तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द प्रीलिम्स रिवीजन सीरीज फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो अब हम दिस पार्ट टू को कंटिन्यू करते हैं होप यू हैव सीन द पार्ट वन तो अब हम यू नो साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं इसमें भी हम डिफेंस एंड स्पेस रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में बात करेंगे और रिवाइज भी करेंगे तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द कंटेंट क्या है आज के लेक्चर के लिए सो कंटेंट ये है कि फर्स्ट हम पढ़ेंगे क्लोज फ्यूल साइकिल के बारे में उसके बाद वी विल सी पंच मिशन क्या है किसने लॉन्च किया उसके बारे में हम पढ़ेंगे उसके बाद हम वी विल सी वॉट इज स्टेटम अटाका वी विल सी वी विल रीड अबाउट द स्पाइक मिसाइल वी विल सी वॉट इज कैसेनो प्रोब हम देखेंगे ड्रैगन फ्लाई मिशन क्या है किसने लॉन्च कर रहे हैं वो सब कुछ हम देखते हैं उसके बाद हम लॉन्च अबोट सिस्टम के बारे में बात करते हैं आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी अबाउट द इंडियन बेस्ड न्यूट्रेनी ऑब्जर्वेटरी सो वेर इट इज गोइंग टू बी सेटअप एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द हाई बूसा टू सो दिस आर दिस इज द कंटेंट फॉर दिस लेक्चर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट क्लोज फ्यूल साइकिल क्या है क्लोज फ्यूल साइकिल जनरली देर आर टू थिंग्स क्लोज फ्यूल साइकिल एंड ओपन फ्यूल साइकिल सो दीज आर द टू काइंड ऑफ फ्यूल साइकिल्स वेर इन विच इन क्लोज फ्यूल साइकिल द आउटपुट वॉट वी विल बी गेटिंग इज वेरी लेस वॉट इज द आउटपुट वेन द फ्यूल इज बर्ड वी विल हैव ए रेसिड्यू जनरली वेन वी सी इन अ बाइक वेन पेट्रोल इज बर्ड देर वी विल बी गेटिंग अ रेसिड्यू वॉट इज दैट रेसिड्यू द स्मोक एंड द डस्ट पार्टिकल्स इज द रेसिड्यू वेन पेट्रोल इज बर्ड इन द सेम वे बीट एनी be it any machine or anything where there is burn where something is been burned we are going to get a residue when wood is burned ash is the residue so in that way we are getting a residue when something is burned so closed fuel cycle mein what kya ho raha hai the residue jo hum burn hone ke baad hamare paas hai wo residue that will be used again wo fir se use karte hain aur the residue ko reduce karte hain the residue will be reduced such that the residue at the end after the you know after the reutilization of the residue what will be there at the end is very less compared to that what is there in the beginning okay that is what closed fuel cycle means open means the same like the you know generally what is happening if everything is burned we will be getting we will be getting a residue that is the open fuel cycle but closed fuel cycle ye hai as i told you already reprocessing of the residue which is left after the initial burning after the initial consumption so this closed fuel cycle generally you know when we use it it should be economical otherwise if you see if in if we use this closed fuel cycle concept in a bike it won't be economical so we should be we should be seeing where it is economical and where the residue is more harmful we should make sure we should use such residue and this is concept is used in the nuclear power plants because as you know the nuclear power plants used fuels like uranium plutonium thorium etc these are very radioactive elements these are very harmful for us so even after the utilization the output residue which is left is very much radioactive so in normal process normally we follow a open process wherein which the residue which is left will not be utilized completely so the residue the radioactive residue is been disposed which is harmful both for environment as well as humans so this closed fuel cycle has been introduced where in which it aims for reprocessing of fuel spent for fuel spent for recovery of uranium and plutonium and recycling them back to the reactor as fuel so the the output which was left is being used again that is called closed fuel cycle this final leads to a very small percentage of residual material present and spent in the nuclear fuel requiring the management as a radioactive okay so that is what closed fuel cycle means closed fuel cycle simply is the reutilization of the residue after the first use it is the closed fuel cycle that means the fuel cycle is closed the residue at the end will be very very less okay that is what is a closed fuel cycle so closed fuel cycle is used in nuclear power plants next is polarimeter to unify corona and heliosphere mission punch mission who launched the punch mission punch mission is launched by nasa it launched by nasa and it focuses on understanding the transition of particles from sun's outer corona to the solar winds that fills the interplanetary space so the outer you know part of the sun is called corona the flares that we will be getting that is called corona of the sun that is called corona so this punch mission which is launched by nasa will be helpful for us in understanding the transition of particles that means how the particle moves from the corona to the other places it is expected to be launched by 2022 so a question may be like punch mission which was recently in news is launched by which space is going to be launched by which space organization a isro b nasa c european space agency esa and d jaxa the japanese space agency answer will be nasa okay that is how question can be asked 
Next, Stum Ataka. What is Stum Ataka? It is the anti-tank missile of Russia. Stum Ataka is the anti-tank missile of Russia and India has signed a deal with Russia for this Stum Ataka anti-tank missile. So can you name an anti-tank missile of India? Just comment that in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Next one, Spike Missile. Spike is also an anti-tank missile but this is based in Israel. This is of Israeli origin. So India have made two deals. One is the spike missile which is from Israel and the second is the Stum Ataka which is of Russia. Stum, remember Stum Ataka is a Russian anti-tank missile. Next is the spike missile which is the Israeli anti-tank missile. Next is Casino Probe. Casino Probe is the NASA's probe to Saturn. It ended its 13 year mission orbiting Saturn in September 2017 by dividing into, Sun's atmos by dividing into the Sun at Saturn's atmosphere. So this Cassini probe has been launched by NASA in order to study the Saturn. Studying Saturn is the main objective of Cassini probe. So this was, you know, this got, this was ended in September 2017. Next, there is a probe coming that is called the Dragonfly mission. Remember, who will launch the Dragonfly mission? It will be launched by NASA. It will be launched by NASA. It is part of the New Frontier program of NASA. So this will go to Saturn's moon Titan. So this Dragonfly mission is launched by NASA and this is a nuclear powered. So what is the use of using a nuclear powered space vehicle? So the use is that when a nuclear powered space vehicle is used, it can emit, you know, the it's sorry, the fuel it is used, it is using can be used for a long time because radioactivity is something which uses less fuel and is also more sustainable. Because normally when a you know, the life of a spacecraft basically depends on the fuel it is carrying with itself. Fuel it is carrying with itself. So we will be seeing the satellite life has come to an end. Satellite life coming to an end means the fuel in the satellite is over. That is the thing. Because normally what will happen when a satellite or any spacecraft when it is there in the space, it won't stay in a particular place. It needs some hovering to be done which is done by the ground stations. For that it needs fuel. Okay, so this fuel is something that determines the life of any space vehicle. So when the fuel which can be used is sustainable, something like a nuclear powered one or something like a solar, something like from solar energy, if it can be used. So that, that means when, it, the, when the sustainable fuel can be used, it can stay in the atmosphere for a long time. It can stay in the space for a long time. Okay, that is the use of using a nuclear powered spacecraft. So the Dragonfly is part of NASA's new frontier program, which includes a series of space exploration missions which are being conducted in the purpose of researching several solar system several bodies in the solar system including the dwarf planet pluto so in order to study all of this this is being used so this nasa's new frontier program it includes pluto probe horizon the jupiter probe juno and the osiris rex asteroid mission asteroid Bennu. we have seen in the previous lecture the osiris rex is used you know in order to study the asteroid Bennu. okay next the launch abort system the launch abort system is designated to activate in the event of a rocket malfunction on the pad or in the flight that means when a rocket is when a rocket is taken off this is some let's say this is the rocket when it is going to be taken off there might be some last minute faults there might be something that is not fixed which they came to know at the last minute when there is no one in the aircraft even if the aircraft fails it's fine but when there are people when people are traveling for the interplanetary expeditions, we have to make sure the system is fail proof. So come what may the situation, we are ready for all the contingencies. So for this, the launch abort system is being launched. It was basically tested by NASA, it is tested by NASA. So NASA recently carried out a successful test of a launch abort system from the Orion capsule, which is designed to take US astronauts to moon. So NASA is planning to go to the moon again using the Orion capsule. So for this, a launch abort system is being tested. So this launch abort system, what it does is, during the failure of, an, of, a, pa of a launch pad or any failure of any engine or any electrical system failure during its launch. So then this launch, ab launch abort system comes into play. In case of a launch pad or in-flight failure, the abort tower rocket provides 400,000 pounds of thrust pulling the crew capsule away. So the crew capsule will be pulled away. That will be hovered separately. The Orion spacecraft is the major component of NASA's newly named Artemis program, which aims to return to the US, which return the US astronauts to the moon in 2024. It's a lunar mission of NASA. Next is India-based Neutrino Observatory Project, INO project. 
So center has reiterated that INO project will be established at Theni in southern Tamil Nadu, though there has been opposition by the locals for this project. So this Newton Observatory, it is nothing but a long pipes or you can say a long tunnels wherein which we will do research on the particles. We will do research on the particles. So this will be launched or this will be established in southern Tamil Nadu at Theni. Southern Tamil Nadu at Theni. It aims at building a world class underground laboratory with a rock cover of, cover of approximately 1200 you know, meters. So the length of the tunnel will be 1200 meters for non-accelerator based high energy and nuclear physics research in India. So this is a very important step for promoting nuclear research. There is one more project by CERN. CERN is nothing but the European Space Agency Research Organization. So the project is called the Large Hadron Collider. So this Large Hadron Collider what it does is it tries to identify the different particles of space. It has identified the God particle. So there are a lot of particles which are unknown to us. The Neutrino Observatory will help in studying those particles along with the studying of neutrons. This initial goal is to study neutrons as I told you already. So the Neutrino Observatory will be established at Theni in Tamil Nadu, Southern Tamil Nadu. So which guards? Comment in the section. Comment in the comment section. This Indian based Neutrino Observatory, it does not disturb the ecosystem. It does not disturb any ecosystem. It does not spoil any ecosystem as it does not release any particles or any radiation. It merely observes them. It merely helps us to study that. It measures the cosmic rays. This project includes setting up a National Center for High Energy Research at Madurai. National Institute for High Energy Research at Madurai for the operation and maintenance of the underground laboratory, human resource development and detector R&D along with its applications. So this is not as the protesters claim this is not anything anti to the environment because it's an underground tunnel the underground tunnel will not impact the atmosphere or you can say the ecosystem which is above it that is why this is important for us to know at Theni Tamil Nadu in the in the Eastern Ghats not Western Ghats in the Eastern Ghats next one Hayabusa 2 what is Hayabusa 2 Hayabusa is the bike name that we all know so Hayabusa is the Japanese spacecraft it made its second touchdown on asteroid Ryugu on the July 12, 2019. So another probe is by NASA. That probe is nothing but Osiris Rex for studying asteroid Bennu. So Hayabusa 2 is for studying asteroid Ryugu. This is the first ever space probe to gather material from beneath the surface of the asteroid. So asteroid Bennu is being studied from above. It is about 60 kilometers from the asteroid. But this Hayabusa 2, it may touch down. That is, it means it has landed on that asteroid. It has landed on that asteroid so that it can gather material from that and do research on it. This is the first time that an, that a spacecraft has gathered material. Spacecraft has gathered material from beneath the surface of any other planetary object. Interplanetary object. So this is about Hayabusa 2. Now let's revise what you have studied. The closed fuel cycle. The closed fuel cycle is seen in the nuclear power plants. That means the fuel which is the residue, the fuel which, which leaves the residue in the initial phase is being reutilized so that there is more efficiency and the output or the wastage will be very less. Next is the punch mission. Punch mission is the NASA mission. It is used to study how the corona travels from the sun to the other interplanetary space. Next is the Stum Ataka is the anti-tank missile of Russia. Next spike missile is the anti-tank missile of Israel. Casino probe is of NASA's probe for Saturn for studying Saturn. Dragonfly mission it will be launched by NASA. It will be launched by NASA to study Saturn's moon Titan in 2026. The launch abort system is being tested by NASA. Tested by NASA. Next India-based Neutron Observatory program it will be launched in Tamil Theni in Tamil Nadu. It will be established in Theni Tamil Nadu. Hayabusa 2 is to study asteroid. Rugu, it is spacecraft of Russia. Rugu, it is spacecraft of Russia. Sorry, not Russia, it's Japan, Japanese spacecraft. Okay, so that's the students in this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Thank you.